Hey Caps, it's Ed, Parkrun Bud here, back once again with a new visual and oral treat for you. Today I took part in the Great Field Park Run over in Poundbury near Dorchester. Give you an update on that park run and my performance on the day. Plus I'm going to take a look at that Nike Zoom X Street Fly launch and the insane prices that some people are trying to resell those shoes for on StockX. Let's get to it. Thanks for tuning in guys, it's always appreciated. If you haven't done so already, please help the channel out to grow into new areas by hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell below for notifications of when we roll out those new videos for you. It also helps us out a huge amount if you give this video a thumbs up like and also share it with your running buddies. Grab some merch and join the channel using our membership scheme too. There's three different tiers and loads of extra perks so you can interact more with the viewers out there and myself and beast of course hi beast hello everybody oh that's, uh, that was a close one great field park run today a rather windy one 18 mile an hour winds coming from the west and as we know those are the coldest winds you can get apart from those from the north it did influence the difficulty level a little bit of this park run it's not an awful lot of cover anywhere it's literally loops around the great field itself and there's very little there to stop you being buffeted by those sprightly gusts <laughs> It's reasonably flat though, there are a few little testing elevations here and there. All pavement as well, or some of this sort of golden gravel. It's like a dusty golden type stone, I'm not sure what it is. Certainly happy with the results today, 20 minutes, 27 seconds. Didn't quite have it there for the sub 20, but uh, really pleased to see some of my pace and speed returning. Those small little climbs really do take it out of you. I think sometimes having a lap course does make it a little bit tougher psychologically, because you're thinking, I gotta do this another three times, yeah? How's that gonna work? And it does make it a little tougher as well with the narrow paths when you start to meet some of the tail end runners. You gotta try and navigate past them. A couple of them today had headphones on and they didn't hear me. Top notch organization throughout though. It was really well put together this park run. The dog leg at the end of the park run actually caught me out a little bit. There was someone that came up from behind me, a sprint finish, amazing finish actually. So I turned on the afterburners a little bit and suddenly realized I had to turn right and go off down to the end funnel. Some good facilities too though. There's a pavilion where they've got toilets and things plus you can grab some food and stuff supplies all you need for your park run experience good to see the Yeobletown road runners out in force lots of people had traveled over the like 18 miles or whatever it is to get there lots of friendly faces big shout outs to Steve Lye and to Adam too I think most shoes are doing workable on that course but I did opt for the Metaspeed Sky today been keen to test it out again on a faster paced effort and on a run with some competition as well it's been few and far between of recent time does it perform better than the the next percent or the four percent well i gotta be honest i do want to test it out on another 10k and half marathon effort before i really make my final conclusions gotta be honest at 50 miles they are taking a real beating already some of the foam's just falling away here in the heel it's not like i'm a really heavy heel striker either i've used these on predominantly faster efforts thus far i mean the rubber in the forefoot area looks practically brand new so yeah, maybe ASICs could just move the rubber sections back just a little bit there to protect the heel exposed midsole foam. Grip was great though on that mellow yellow stone. And the acceptable finish time, 2027. I'm pretty happy with that. It's been a tough week. There was not much left in the legs really, but I'm just really glad to see my fitness returning to where it was back in October after my injury. Weymouth Park Run next week, guys. If you are around in that area, please come on down and say hi. No turns apparently on this one. It's literally just some double backs, pretty much straight just down the beach. Not on the sand, on the hard stuff. Let's hope for zero wind and no rain. If you've been part running this weekend, let me know down in the comments. What have I been wearing on foot today? A shoe check. Here it comes. I've got to say, you can't beat the underfoot cushion of the Jordan 4. It is wonderful. I think there's two airbags in there, one at the back, then there's an encapsulated one in the forefoot of the shoe too. It's really nice and cushioned underfoot, especially if you've been doing a much harder running effort earlier in the day. So the Jordan 4 today, 
is my favorite Jordan profile model as well. It is a beautiful thing, a really beautiful thing. Moving on, some of you would have noticed that European release of the Nike Zoom X Street Fly. It was supposed to come out on the 27th of January, but it seemed to have surfaced over here in the UK at least on the 28th at about 8 o'clock in the morning, which is when Nike released most shoes. If you were lucky enough to pick up a pair, you were in the minority. I ran a poll on the channel as to whether viewers were after the shoe. Out of about 654 votes, so about 320 people, or 49% of all voters, were after the shoe. Only 6% of those people though managed to get a pair. So if you were a part of the 6% you got really lucky. So out of everybody that was trying to get a pair only 26 managed to get some. 26. Even when I got my pair seconds after they dropped at 8 o'clock it still listed all of the different sizes as just a few left basically. I think it says few pairs left or something like that but had that on every single size. This suggests to me that the Street Fly certainly in this prototype colorway is a very limited release. I'm sure though more pairs in a whole range of different colorways will be dropping over the coming months. They dropped at £135 over here in the UK or 135 earth credits if that's your bag. Certainly a very attractive shoe at that price when you consider some of the other contenders that already exist. I don't think though that you should be tempted by the chances on StockX that are trying to sell these pairs at ridiculous prices. StockX is a great and very legitimate resale site. I've picked up a few Jordans on there before. Not really that high over the retail cost. Maybe like 10, 20 pounds or something. It's great for basketball shoes, retro Jordans, Yeezys and things like that. Or collectibles as well. None of which I think we can call the streak fly. This is very much a tool. Get it on foot, use it, enjoy it. Though that hasn't stopped people from asking for ridiculous amounts of money for a pair of the streak flies on StockX. I mean, there's one there for 1,096 pounds really though of course the bonkers over the top prices simply are not being met by the buying public there's 30 pairs at the time of making this video at least listed on StockX ranging from a US six and a half at 1096 pounds right through to a US size 14 which is 308 pounds but if you total together all the actual bids from people that want to buy these shoes it averages out at 140 pounds so it's only just over the actual retail price of the street fly i can't really see the allure here of this more minimalist shoe i say that doubting myself almost it's not really a minimalist shoe is it but buyers aren't going to pay 10 times the asking price are they that's crazy surely nike intended this version of the street fly to be similar to the next percent 2 prototype that dropped last year there's only a few pairs of those knocking around but they soon put out the actual retail release and there were loads of them then. There was no time when it was hard to get a pair of the Next Percent 2s. That was an early look, sort of initial release prior to the main retail release. And then they dropped loads of other colorways, didn't they? And I imagine that that will happen with the Streak Fly as well. So keep your cash in your pockets, guys. I've noticed over the last few months as somebody that purchases shoes on StockX that it's very seldom that there are shoes that are going way, way over the retail price now. Too many people have tried to get into that game of buying these very hard to get shoes and then flogging them for a massive profit. Just doesn't really happen. If you miss out on a pair of the retro releases, you can normally pick them up round about the retail price on StockX. Aside from a very few select releases that people seem to be really hyped up about, I'm looking forward to receiving my pair of the Street Flies and I shall certainly not be reselling them. I shall be getting them covered in dirt on foot and pound them into the ground i shall be tenderizing the zoom x a bit like a steak if you managed to get a pair or you didn't let me know in the comments below musical interlude time always a good day when there's a new eels album released this one's called extreme witchcraft so not just standard witchcraft extreme witchcraft I'm really pleased to see E once again working with John Parrish. I think they make some wonderful music. I really enjoyed the Soul Jacker album. I think that must have been 20 years ago, maybe 21 years ago now. It sounds as if they're making up for lost time though. Some wonderful tracks on this one. Another album that's got a very jaunty, strange atmosphere to it. This fuzzy, twisted guitars on Good Night on Earth and strange syncopated rhythms on 
amateur hour. This strange, almost funk-like vibes on Grandfather Clock Strikes 12. A very industrial sort of sound about this album, but I like it. Bit of a return to form here for Eels, I think. I'm going to need some more listens to really penetrate through the armour. But I think it's going to be a winner. Go and check it out, guys, from the Eels. This one's called Extreme Witchcraft. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Always appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications of when we launch new stuff for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like and also share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you. Hey cats, here we are at Great Field Park Run in Poundbury, right next to Dorchester. It's about 20 miles away from me, really. Didn't take long to get here. As you can see, it literally is a great big field. But fortunately, it's all on uh, tarmac and there's some paths as well. So it's uh, looking all right, see how we get on. Hey guys, so here we are at the uh, Great Field Park Run, and it really is uh, a great field. Big it's old a, field. just a big old field. Yeah. It's kind of sad we haven't really got anything uh, this flat and sort of mobile, I suppose, in Yeovil, isn't it? Really? It is. How'd you get on then, lads? Uh, hard work today. It's always the middle of that second mile. The mind starts engaging for me, and I sort of think to myself, "Oh, hang on, this is this is a bit horrible. How long have I got to go of doing this?" Whereas in a ten or a half, you. You don't ever feel that kind of panic, do you? Um, You've got no the... let up on a 5k. Yeah. Full on all the way through. You say it's flat, but I think any slightest mound feels like a steep hill. <laughs> three, to five, three to 4k kind of mark. Yeah, yeah. Any small like incline or something. And there's a couple here, but it is good. Nicely well run as well, isn't it? It's really good. smooth. Everyone was moving out the way. I didn't get attacked by any dogs as well, guys. That's always a, a bonus, you know. What you got coming up then, guys? Adam, you. you Getting back, sort of back to training, back to maybe fitness, yeah. racing at some I, point later in the year. I had a groin injury just before Christmas, so I cancelled my couple of January races. But next thing I've got booked is Yeovil Half at the end of March. Yep. Working towards that. Um, we'll play it by year if I do anything in Feb, see how I feel. But that then, you know, 21 summit, so it's only three minutes off the best, so I'm getting somewhere. Getting there, yeah. It's a good time to have before. I'm sure you'll get back there, Adam. What about you, Steve? Uh, Bab Kerry, um, we used to Marla. Okay. Yeah, Lichard 10 and Yeovil Ham as well. That's seven mile is an interesting distance. It is. Seven miles. Yeah. How do you go about sort of tactically with that one, Steve? What, uh, what, no what, tactics. You just sort of see what happens. <laughs> just go for it and yeah. Is it a road race or is yeah, it? It is. Oh, okay. Run a 10k and then wait for the finish. Exactly. <laughs> Hang on for the last mile or so. Awesome. I'm going for the oval half. It'd be interesting to see what they do about water and things. So I know, Steve, you often carry water yeah, with you, don't you? Yeah. Um, I didn't do that at Salisbury and then found that they just had water butts that you could oh, okay. fill like a cup from or something. It's going to mess up your time then, isn't it? Yeah, I, 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 that really hit me about sort of <laughs> seven, eight miles. I thought, hang on, I'm getting a little bit parched now. I wouldn't mind they, a sip of water. They did that at Martok um, last year, didn't they? And then we got to the end and they were like, you fancy a hose down? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have two? <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, probably uh, doing the oval. Um, it would have been nice to get in a bath or something like that, but that's all, all that's booked up now. Oh, I think that's all pushed it to the right, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. They moved it from one weekend I couldn't do to another weekend I couldn't right. do. So, yeah. No change. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be pretty decent now, nice and, nice and flat, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Maybe a marathon later in the year. Good Maybe. One. Good effort. Cool, right. Good to see you guys. Cheers, and you. Oh, so about 20 minutes 30, I think it was, 11th position. It's not too bad. Happy with that. Doing a bit of a warm down, cool down, it really is. It's chilly now. Uh, no. Yeah, enjoyed that.